What's up? What's up? What's going on, guys? It's your host, Invisible DFS. Let's talk man slate for Sunday, January the 12th, 2020. All right, guys. As I do, we're gonna go ahead and check out the lineup. Um, man, like I said earlier, uh, for the early slate, if you guys watch this video, we all know what happened with uh, Juman. He got ejected. This guy gave me 28 fantasy points, man. 28 fantasy points. So. Jay Rich was a bad play too. So I have Jay Rich and Drum in there, but I have this guy right here, man. He did so great 63 fantasy points. So Rondo went off close to a triple double, but uh, man, 48 fantasy points couldn't beat that. Him and Siemens was basically the main two guys for uh, for the point guard in FD. So uh, Gil, well, my guys, I had Gale, I had uh, Tobias, Tatum, Kozma, and Drummond as my star. So all those guys basically did great, except Drummond got ejected. Uh, not that he started great, but you never know, because it was in the second quarter when he got ejected. So this lineup is still in the winning lineup somehow, but not sure if it's going to last, because you have Giannis decided to go off today. He has 44 fantasy points. In the first half, that is insane. 44 guys after a bad one last night. All right, so because of Giannis, I could end up getting out of the winning here. So we'll see. Uh, yeah. So uh, and then in the game, our best lineup. Also, by the way, this game was a blowout. So the starters here, uh, Walker, Award, and Tatum. None of them play in the fourth quarter. So that's actually end up hurting them, all right? Uh, none of them play in the fourth quarter. And then here you have uh, Tobias. I said Tobias. Tobias, what? What he had? 36. So oh, not bad. Double double. Giannis, of course, I knew he was gonna come to. Uh, I liked him. Um, Tatum. The, here is you have Marcus Smart. Didn't play in the fourth quarter. I, I was hoping he get some, you know, trash garbage time, but he didn't get that. And uh, the standup is not bad. I just wish those guys. And Graham was the bad one here. Uh, it was 30% on, but only 30 fantasy points. That's really bad. Anyway, so it's a five-game slate for uh, the men slate. So I'm not going to do any cheap play, guys. I'm just going to go ahead and give you my five players that consist of three core plays and uh, the cheap play with the star of the segment. All right, I already have them set up, so let's go ahead and talk about them. So for the K, I have Rubio. It's been a while since I've been back. I went to Rubio. I wish I went back last game, but I did not. But Rubio, you know, is one of the guys I usually go to. And uh, I'm going to Rubio against Charlotte. Uh, it's what the game before the last game, I believe, because or the or one of the last or before the last game. I think that's what it is. But anyway, so uh, Rubio, I definitely like him. Uh, the price six went nine against Charlotte. So I'm hoping anything on the 35 plus, that's what I'm looking for. So whatever event is the average, I'm hoping I can get that plus. All right. And Graham, um, average 35. So I'm hoping for the same. He has been struggling. So I'm hoping in this game right there. So uh, he can go ahead and step it up. He played 20. This is the first time he didn't play 30 minutes in a long long time so the whole season that's only the second time where he get less than 30 minutes 30 minutes so so i'm looking forward to see him go back to that and my cheap play will be og i'm going to jared allen here against atl so i believe this game uh i believe that's the perfect game for allen here so i'm hoping you're gonna get the uh, uh minutes over John Jordan here, so I'm hoping that's gonna be the case, especially now that uh, it's here. Don't really have a uh, true center, so Jared Allen to me fit much better in this game than DeAndre Jordan. So for that, I'm going with him and Kawhi. I don't care who he's playing against, not without George Kawhi, definitely a guy I'm looking to play in my lineups, all right, and as my star of the segment. And in uh, in uh, DK, I'm also going to go in here, same. A little bit 100 more expensive, but I still like him. I'm expecting him to bounce back in this game. Uh, and then my call, I'm gonna go with Allen, same Allen here, Graham, and 
I'm gonna go Aldrich at that price, 7.3k. I love that price. Um, I expect him hopefully he can get us in the 40s here. Uh, yeah, which 37.7. So if he can get us in the 40, I'd be welcome that. And my cheap play, I'm gonna go with uh, Glenn Robinson. You know, the minutes are there for him. He play in the 30s in minutes, high 20s to the 30s. So I'm definitely going there. And like I said, Kawhi is my star. No, hey, no more talk about that because. Uh, he has to do they're going against Denver so it's not an easy matchup but Kawhi have to be a big part of this game for them to have a chance to win this game so and I know he's gonna be without uh, without uh, I mean uh, Paul George he is definitely a different player when it's come for the fantasy world of basketball all right so uh, man uh, I thought Baltimore would be one of the teams that's going to go to the uh, Super Bowl. Right now, it's not looking good at all. So, anyway, guys, uh, I appreciate you guys again. Please, if you have not checked the early slate, I have one out there. So, check it out. All right. Appreciate you guys. Uh, please drop a like in this video. Smash it. Uh, hit the like video. Uh, turn on your bell notification. And also, if you're not a subscriber, please do so. I would really appreciate it. Uh, also, you can share the video. Uh, tell your friends about it. I would really about it. And I really appreciate that, guys. So, uh, don't spend money that you guys cannot afford to lose. No, I really, really, really appreciate you guys. I'm out.